वन टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट द थर्ड बाइट ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग एंड डिक्रीजिंग फंक्शन सो येस्टरडे वी डेड फर्स्ट फोर पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स एंड पार्ट ई आई हैड गिवन यू द होमवर्क होप यू पीपल हैड डन इन योर ऑन योर नोटबुक सो आई ऑल्सो सॉल्व ई पार्ट फॉर यू सो जस्ट कंपेयर योर वर्किंग अलॉन्ग विद माई वर्किंग एंड सी द प्रॉपर प्रेजेंटेशन हाउ टू अटेम्प्ट द क्वेश्चन in the board examination because e part is very very important question uh, from this exercise so let pick the e part let's switch on to the board so this is my board and now copy the question that is e part so e part is your fx so i put it as a fx so differentiate with respect to x f dash x is now here uv rule so this is first function this is second function so this is x plus 1 whole square as it is and derivative of second function that is 3 x minus 1 sorry x minus 3 whole square plus x minus 3 whole cube and x plus 1 into 3 fine so <coughs> here x plus 1 and x minus 3 is the common in the both the terms so i took common from f dash x is equals to x plus 1 whole square x minus 3 whole square common and we left with 3 also common okay fine so i left with x plus 1 one term plus x minus 3 another term okay so this is 3 x plus 1 whole square x minus 3 whole square x minus so this is 2x minus 2 fine this is equals to so 2 common 6x plus 1 square x <coughs> minus 3 square x minus 1 so this is your f dash x fine this is the f dash x so for critical points so for critical points f dash x is 0 so f dash x is equals to 0 so 6 x plus 1 whole square x minus 3 whole square x minus 1 is equals to 0 okay so here 6 not equals to 0 so x plus 1 is equals to 0 x minus 3 equals to 0 x minus 1 equals to 0 so here x is equals to minus 1 x is equals to 3 x is equals to 1 <coughs> okay now check this on the number line so we have the intervals so intervals are <coughs> sign of f dash x fine we have to check sign of f dash x so this is 6 x plus 1 whole square x minus 3 whole square x minus 1 fine so let's switch on to the number line i draw the number line for you so this is minus infinity to <coughs> positive infinity fine so let it be x minus 1 is here x 1 is here and x 3 is here so here we get a four intervals fine so first interval is minus infinity to minus 1 so this is now choose our one, one number x that is 6 1 square minus 5 square and minus 3 square so x so this is 6 1 and when we solve this we get a negative fine clear this thing so the next is the next one is minus 1 to 1 so take any number from minus 1 to 1 so i took 0 so this is this and this becomes 6 One and nine minus one, so this is negative. So I wrote, I write negative. So from the next interval, that is one two three. So choose any one number of your choice, that is one two three. So I took two, let it be two. So when I put the value of that an x, so I get six two plus one three square two minus three is negative one square. and then is one so when i solve this we get positive okay fine i write 
positive so in the fourth interval 3 to infinity take any any one point so this is before let it be 4 so this become this positive fine so this is positive now see negative negative positive positive so this is from interval let's see on the <coughs> table strictly <coughs> let it be strictly increasing in so 1 2 3 and 3 2 infinity where the symbol is positive that function is strictly increasing so it is strictly increasing from 1 2 3 and 3 to infinity and strictly strictly decreasing in minus infinity to minus 1 and minus 1 to 1 fine so here the function is strictly increasing from mine uh, sorry decreasing from minus infinity to 1 fine clear now let's see the question uh, let's see the graph so i choose the function graphically in the software so this is x plus 1 whole cube and the next bracket is x minus 3 whole cube so this is my function so let's see the graph this is the graph so this is a graph let let it be very let it be make clear to you i just decrease the ratio see the graph is decreasing the graph is decreasing from minus infinity to the critical point and then increasing from one to the critical point one to infinity fine so in this type of graph let see the critical point let decrease the ratio let's decrease the ratio for you so this is now see is that visible no 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 this is the visible to you see this is this is the critical point that is one fine now, i increase the ratio for you to see very clearly that the graph is zero at one so graph is zero at one so this is our critical point this is our critical point fine and the graph is little bit decrease from minus 1 and little bit increase from 3 so see the graph is stopped at 3 and then again increased fine and it stopped so let's see i will make you more clear the graph is <coughs> minus infinity here minus 1 here so this is decreasing from minus infinity to minus 1 so this point minus 1 here the graph stop for a minute and after that minus 1 to again to the critical point this is <coughs> i will make you more clear so <coughs> now let's see again here it is decreasing from minus infinity to this is minus 1 fine so let's choose the interval in this now <clears throat> it is very clear the graph is decreasing then again from minus 1 to critical point it is again decreasing and in this interval in this interval the graph is decreasing in the full interval that is minus infinity to that critical point fine that critical point up to the critical point it is strictly decreasing it is strictly decreasing can i say it is strictly decreasing no because it stop at minus 1 so it's clear so it is decreasing from minus infinity to that critical point that is 1 so let's see the board so let's check the interval here that is negative for minus infinity to 1 so it means that it is decreasing it is decreasing from minus infinity to 1 fine but when we check a small intervals that is minus infinity to minus 1 and 1 minus 1 to 1 it is also decreasing but stop for a second because there is a small bend in the graph that stop for a second fine clear this thing so after uh, after stopping it again decrease from that point minus 1 to that critical point 1 similarly the function is increasing from 1 to infinity but it is strictly increasing from 1 to 3 and then 3 to infinity fine when we have to write strictly word 
so let's see on the graph again this is point 3 fine so <clears throat> i'll make you more clear it stop for 3 and it is decreasing from the critical point fine sorry it is increasing from the critical point and again from 3 to infinity it is increasing fine so it stop for a minute now now see see the graph carefully now here i introduce one more word for you where the graph stop for a minute or stop for a second that point is called point of inflection fine this is the new term introduced here point of inflection so minus one is point of inflection now what is the difference between the point of inflection and critical point this is also three is also a point of inflection point of inflection is where the graph stop for a second but the critical point let come this is critical point in the critical point the graph change from increase to decrease or from decrease to increase right so where the graph stop for a second that is the point of inflection fine where the graph change its nature so this is also point of inflection see on the graph so where the graph change its nature negative to positive that point is critical point hope you uh, hope hope it is clear to you fine so this is very very important concept student always confused between the point of inflection and critical point fine now let come on the question no now i change the question again if the same question is asked without the word strictly fine if the strictly word is not in this let's see the question again let's see the solution full solution so this is the full solution f dash x is this fine so <clears throat> after a uh, critical point we solve now see i scrolling for you now here this is the question if the question change strictly word is not there so i pick the f dash x function so i solve if the word is not strictly in the question fine if the if the strictly word is not in the question then what is the working of this then it means that the graph we have to show increasing or decreasing fine so i make a line and this is case 2 when the word strictly is not in the question i copied the uh, this f de derivative so f dash x is this so again uh, to find the critical point so in here you see very 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 clearly x plus 1 is whole square and x minus 3 is whole square these are always positive these are always positive x plus 1 is whole square is always positive x minus 3 whole square is always positive if you put a negative number square make it positive so x minus 1 is the only factor which introduce the nature so 6 x plus 1 whole square and x minus 3 whole square are always positive fine so nature of the function depend upon <coughs> for increasing for increasing nature of the function will, uh, depend upon x minus 1 only so x minus 1 is greater than or must be must be positive fine and for decreasing x minus 1 must be negative fine clear understood this because here the nature is only depend upon x minus 1 is that clear to you fine now let's see on the number line fine so x minus 1 is greater than 0 for increasing fine x and for decreasing x minus 1 is less than 0 fine so x is greater than 1 x is less than 1 fine now let's check on the number line so let's draw the number line now this is the number line so minus infinity to infinity so here it is 1 and from minus uh, this is 1 to infinity it is positive and minus infinity to 1 it is negative so it is decrease i am not using the word strictly decrease in minus infinity to 1 and increase in 1 to infinity fine this is when the question is without the word strictly increase or strictly decrease okay in the same question i make two forms of the question fine when it is strictly increasing or simply increasing when it is strictly decreasing or 
simple decreasing fine this is very very important question according to the examination point of view fine is that clear now let's switch on to the next question of the ncrt now graph also you uh, also very clear to you so i will scroll once again so you will see this part very carefully what is the difference between the strictly increasing and strictly decreasing okay let no, note it down in your notebook fine this is very very important question right very very important on your notebook also along with me fine is that clear if <coughs> now let come on the question number 7 now from 7 to 10 there is a no word uh, 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 the ncrt is not using any word strictly fine fine they are using the only increasing or decreasing they are not using the word strictly fine so our working is depend upon the number line again from question number 7 to 10 but without strictly words fine only in question number 6 they introduce the word strictly fine so let pick the question number 7 now this is the question number 7 okay show that the function given is increasing function throughout its domain fine so <coughs> let pick the question this is my cursor so let i scroll it down so <coughs> seventh question i copied the seventh question now this is the seventh question now see seventh question is show that the y is equals to log of one plus x minus this is increasing function of x throughout its domains fine so this is the question now <coughs> let's write the question uh, with the solution here x minus 1 is the domain x minus 1 is domain x is greater than minus 1 is the domain of the function fine so <clears throat> we have to work with the domain now now this is again a very important point we work with the domain of the question fine domain of the function so let come on the solution now let's see solution is now here fx or y is equals to log of 1 plus x minus 2x upon 2 plus x so again differentiate differentiate with respect to x now this is y dash is equals to 1 upon 1 plus x into 1 minus minus now this is numerator upon denominator so u upon v rule 2 plus x then 2 minus 2 up uh, 2x <coughs> no this is 2x into 1 upon 2 plus x whole square now here i applied the u upon v rule fine so y dash is equals to 1 upon 1 plus x minus now here i solve it so this become 4 plus 2x minus 2x upon 2 plus x whole square fine so <coughs> now here i am not uh, this is 2x cancel with minus 2x here uh, this is 1 upon 1 plus x minus 4x upon 2 plus x whole square fine now to calcium so here when i take lcm by solving algebraically so this is 1 plus x into 2 plus x whole square so here it is 2 plus x whole square minus 4x bracket 1 plus x fine now open the bracket and solve it so this become 4 plus x square plus 4x minus now minus 4x again minus 4x square so upon 1 plus x bracket 2 plus x whole square fine now see this is the full working fine this is the full working of the question fine now see once again so here this is the working now if any confusion you can check so here it is this is now 4x i had written wrong so i scroll it and drop it fine so i i take minus 4x cancel with 4x minus 4 cancel with 4 so i left with x square upon 1 plus x <coughs> 2 plus x whole square fine now this is y dash so here <coughs> see the fraction very carefully now <coughs> see now we have to find the critical point that is x square and this is 2 plus 
x whole square. So x square and 2 plus x whole square are always positive because whole square are always positive. So this is always positive. So again, again the working depend upon x plus 1 for, for increasing 1 plus x must be positive. Fine. Must be positive. Fine. Fine. So, hence, this is depend upon 1 plus x. Again, so 1 plus x is greater than 0. So, x is greater than minus 1. This is the solution that he asked in question. Ki for its domain, see, for its domain, it is increasing. Okay, hence it is proved. So, it is increasing on its domain x minus 1. Fine. Fine. <coughs> now, question number 8 to question number 10. Fine. Try yourself. Now, let's see the graph first. Fine. Let's see the graph. Let's see it graphically also. When, <coughs> when I put the graph, now this is little bit complex function. So, <coughs> I feel little bit difficulty to place it in a graph. So, this is take log natural bracket. Now, this is 1 plus x minus 2x upon 2 plus x. Fine. 2 plus x. Fine. Now, see. <clears throat> see check the question now this is again now this is the graph okay fine this is the graph now see now see this is increasing here from zero now it's little bit stopped at zero so from minus infinity now this is minus one see increasing so let's check it graphically also now this is the question now for the now see the working also so here it is 1 plus x okay and x square plus 2x whole square is always positive now we get x is greater than minus 1 now here the graph properly change at minus 1 fine now so for x greater than minus 1 it is increasing it is increasing so next four caution are your homework try yourself if you face any difficulty in solving you can just comment